huge congratulations first of all, not only on the goal but also a brilliant performance, eight consecutive wins in the Football League. Has that achievement sunk in at all? No, it's quite quite incredible really considering where we've come from and obviously we knew we had it within ourselves to go on a good run but like you say, like the gaffer keeps reiterating to us that it's wins that we're doing, it's not draws, it's not unbeaten, it's we're winning games outright and I think that says massive uh, things about the character in the squad and how well we've overcome the setbacks in the early part of the season. Yeah, you certainly had plenty of those setbacks, whether it's decisions, injuries, suspensions. Ultimately, now that you have got a full plethora of players, you're able to get those results and, and today shows that. Yeah, that's it. I think I think we got the, the decision for us for the first goal. I think it's possibly come off Jordan's arm, but that's the referee that gave us a, gave a penalty away against us at Colchester earlier on in the season. So swings and roundabouts and uh, we've uh, obviously come away today with another win and it's, it's an enjoyable feeling. Yeah. Take us through your, uh, your goal that dropped kindly for you, didn't it? Yeah, I think Mac is trying to claim that he brought it down for me, but I think he was just trying to just get it down and it's bubbled off his foot to the left, onto my left foot, and I've just struck it cleanly. I thought I'd just try and strike it low and hard and yeah, it just went past everyone into the corner, which is a nice feeling. Yeah, And, and as well, up, up until that point, Leighton Orient didn't really threaten, did they? That's down to the, the hard work from, from yourselves and also the defensive line. Yeah, the, the defensive unit won their headers. I think we've uh, obviously got Hawkins back there dealing with, with Smith up, up top and... We won the majority of our headers back there and then obviously <clears throat> as a front line we pressed right up until the, the final minute and kept making them pass back to the goalie and, and I think it just forced errors into their play and that effectively won us the game today. Yeah. I remember Nigel Clough saying at the start of the season that you're going to be the hardest working side in the Football League. That certainly shows that with the, with the work ethic that you've got, chasing players down and really putting the pressure on, uh, on any defence. Yeah, I think working hard will win you games in this division and, and that that today epitomised us as a squad, as a unit, how we want to go about our business, try and play. But when we're not in possession of the football, we've got to work as hard, if not harder, than the other team to, to dispossess them and, and play our football. So, yeah, that's how we want to play. And, and that is a good way of us playing, direct with energy. Yeah, that's been key to that run, hasn't it? All, all the hard work and also the quality too. Yeah, that's it. We've, we've had a lot of players changing, obviously, People getting injured, people coming in and out of the team and, and I think now you can see that whoever's playing, they know their job, this is what we're going to be about and it doesn't matter who's out on the pitch in the start on 11, subs come on, they know their job and, and it sort of flows through the team which is good. Yeah, I mean it's great great to watch, great for the fans as well, again they were out there in their numbers cheer, cheering you on, it's, it's just a brilliant time to be a Mansfield, well associated with Mansfield Town isn't it? Yeah that's it, it's, it's a good place to be, it's a great, <clears throat> great feeling walking off the pitch there and, and the fans are absolutely bouncing and Obviously, to set a record in the Football League of eight consecutive wins is massive and long may that continue for us. We've just got to keep ticking games off as they come and like you say, we're not looking any further ahead than Harrogate on Tuesday night and, and that's when the hard work starts again. Yeah. I mean, how do you, keep, how do you maintain it? Is it just all, like, all to do with hard work, the quality and also confidence as well? I think you've just got to stay on top of it with each other, demand the best from each other because we have got a good group of players who, who want the best for each other and, and that hard work comes from... Like everyone getting the best out of each other and I think everyone's buying into the, the method of how we're, we're winning games and, and you can see whoever's played has, has done well so yeah it's a nice feeling to obviously score myself today but Tuesday night it could be someone else if we win that's, that's obviously the aim for Tuesday but we'll just take it as it comes. Yeah. Look, a really tight unit, you yourself and, and all the rest of the squad as well, like really, well, you're really off the same team sheet. Yeah that's it I think. <clears throat> We had our Christmas due in November and I think since then we've won every game, which I think has just brought everyone closer together. We were obviously a close unit before, but I think that team bonding, that, that effort, effort that we've, we've put in has come from us spending time together and, and really having a good crack. And I think lads are now digging in deep, fighting for the cause, fighting for clean sheets, and that's, that's what we want to see. I won't ask what happened on the uh, on the Christmas do, but whatever happened, it, it seemed to work. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's just about enjoying yourselves. You get, you get a couple of days just where you can have, blow off a bit of steam and have a few beers together. That's it. And like I say, everyone everyone seems to do it in football these days. And I think for us, it came at the right time, and we just kicked on from there. Really. How far can this team go? There's there's no stopping it right now. You you look at the the quality in the squad, it, out of the squad even. There's players not even available. You've got Kellen Gordon still injured. Obviously, Perchy's come on today. Players like that who you know are going to make a big impact on us for the rest of the season, which is enjoyable to see. And I think that's it. We just got to keep taking it step by step and game by game. But I, I think you can see the quality in the squad and the, and the confidence is flowing for everyone at the minute, which is 
like you say, the sky's the limit when that's the case. Yeah, brilliant to see. Well on today, Ollie. Thank you very much.